What I love too is that you said that. Are you okay, Lauren? <laughs> Lauren, maybe she's crumbled under your 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 trunks. No. <laughs> under our trunks. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you guys don't. Um, you you are produce your own stuff. You're kind of immersed in your own methods, and you kind of steer clear of like having the same producer that everybody else is using for your music and stuff like that. So it sounds totally different. Um, I get what you're saying. We need to work <laughs> with somebody. <laughs> no, I like that. It's cool. Uh, I mean, it's, got, it's a lot of work, but it's, it's awesome. When we started out, um, we were in Nashville before Nashville is what Nashville is now. I mean, it was tough being an alternative band in the land of like country and gospel. So a lot of the people that we uh, met early, I mean, I, like Johnny Carter Cash wanted to like work with us and like stuff that was... If we were in a different genre, it was like, I mean, it was amazing, period. But musically, we'd play stuff, and it'd be like, you know, it was a different approach. So we just kind of were left to our own devices. And what was good is we got to make a ton of mistakes. Uh, but we got to do that in private. Um, in the basement. Yeah, and kind of, you kind of, when you're, when you're, when you're doing that, what with, you know, if there's any artists in the room, I mean, you learn your strengths from all your failures. And so we kind of, in that, I think, found a direction that we may have not have found if somebody would have came into the room and had it kind of laid out for us. Because there's a lot of bands that follow a producer's uh, kind of advice, sometimes to a flaw, and they lose themselves in it. And then what are you going to do on the next album? Hopefully you can find that guy again or a different version of that guy. So it's definitely us. I mean, we're always open. If there's any producers in the room, I mean, uh, we're always open to collaborate, but it, it usually ends up being us five dudes in a room. That's so cool. And, and the fact that you find each other and you can uh, create stuff and agree on it and come up with a product that you're really proud of to put out there is, it's hard for, with, all these, with all these guys in a band to like agree on something. That's got to be crazy. Uh, I mean, we don't always agree. Um, everybody's almost dying in here. <laughs> Everything's falling apart. <laughs> Chicago, watch out. Uh, I mean, fun fact, everybody on up here has been a lead singer in a different band at, at one oh, point or awesome. another and everyone plays different instruments than what is in their hands um so with that i think there's just a lot of respect um what you have to have i mean it's like a, a marriage or any type of relationship like sometimes it's fun sometimes it's not and if you don't have that respect we we wouldn't still be here if we didn't want to do it with this group of people well even beyond a uh, musical talent the creativity goes even to hair am i right <laughs> <laughs> Zach actually cuts all of our hair, um, not lying. So he, he uh, really does. He's gonna set up a little workshop out here if you guys need trims or um, he'll hook it up for you.